Hi, this is Bob Maslin, Blade from the Home Seer Message Board, and today I wanted to go over BL Icon for Home Seer 2 and Home Seer 3. BL Icon allows you to customize icons for your devices in Home Seer uh, for statuses of on, off, dim, or even just a virtual device code that you use just for a device string text alone. You can also customize the um, text that displays for each of those statuses as well as the color and whether it's bold or italics um, really allows you full control over your device strings and what your devices look like on Home Seer. So let's get into it. Let's start up BL icon. Let's go through the options first. Uh, debug logging, very important for troubleshooting. If you have an issue with the plugin, come in here, turn on debug logging, uh, capture the issue in the plugin, go back here, turn the debug logging off, and then email, um, well, or put a help desk ticket in on my website, and attach the, the uh, BL icon dash detail.log file, which will be in your Homesphere root folder, uh, to the ticket. Uh, force lowercase icon file names. What this does is it forces all uh, file names um, in your device string to be uh, lowercase. Uh, personalized icon folder. This is for example icons for BL icon. Yeah, it could be the name of your folder. The important part of this is that folder must exist underneath the HTML images directory underneath your home seer folder. Uh, BL icon or icons for BL icon must exist underneath the images uh, folder in order for the icons to be pulled up correctly. Uh, image scaling this gives you the option to um, specify a height and width in pixels uh, that will um, scale all the icons that you assign to your icons for you automatically so you don't have to worry about the sizing. Uh, let's get into the devices. There's two options here. Uh, the, the main one you're going to use is maintain device icons. So when you load this up, um, it pulls up all the house codes that you have, um, and uh, you can you can specify which house code you want to show here. If we just want to show E, um, it'll just show all the ones I have for E. Um, devices you can show all assigned, which are ones that you've assigned to your pl to the plugin, and unassigned, which ones have nothing assigned to them. Uh, so let's let's edit one of these. This is how you will uh, customize it. So the first option you get is whether this is an Insteon group. Um, if if it is an Insteon group, just check this box, and it will the plugin knows how to deal with that. If it's an RFXCOM device, check this box and put in the on and off RFXCOM value that your that your uh, device uses. Uh, for an on icon, you basically select through here and uh, pick whatever icon you want as soon as you pick it it will select it up here um, you can pick whatever one you want you can put in a style color of red blue whatever you want um, and this has to do with the text the style you can put in custom text if you don't put custom text in it'll just put in the word on uh, you can bold or italicize the text as well so it really allows your customization of uh, your device icons. Um, off, same thing, select your off icon you want to use. Um, put in a style if you want. Custom text if you want. If you don't put custom text in, it'll use off. Um, and you can also bold or italicize that as well. Same thing for dim. Default text is dim. Um, you can put in custom, a style, pick your icon. You don't have to pick an icon for dim. You could just have on and off if you wanted. If the device didn't dim. Uh, virtual icon image. If it's just a virtual device, there's no on or off or dim. Um, you can select the icon here and put in the style. There's no um, there's no um, custom text for this one because usually um, it something is setting the value of the string in there for virtual images. So I don't I don't override that because it would just mess things up. Uh, when you're done all that, you click save, and that device will be saved. Um, and you can do that for any device you have in Home Seer. Um, it allows for every device to be customized. 
The other option from the devices uh, page is to set a device string. Um, this basically gives you a drop down of all the devices in HomeSeer. You pick whatever one you want, type in the new custom device string you want to give it, hit save, and it will set the device string. I I've done this a couple times just to reset a device just um, that's gotten wrong and I don't want to have to trigger something to set it back right so I use this to actually set it to what I want it to be. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the support form will take you to the BL icon uh, form on the message board. Um, that's uh, pretty much it. It's pretty basic. It's, uh, it does have a lot of allows for a lot of customization of your devices and homes here. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope it's been beneficial to you. And that's all for now. Thanks.